What's up guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. And this video is for all you awesome owners of Sony's 4K projectors, uh, the 285, 295, 395, 295, all that stuff. You guys know who I'm talking about. If you got this projector, I'm gonna talk about panel alignment, right? So if y'all know, there's three SXRD native 4K panels in the light engine. And what that means is basically the, the light shines through all three panels of color before it gets to the screen. Now, sometimes if those panels are off alignment, you're gonna get a red or a blue bleed, possibly green as well. Um, so that what, what happens that with that is when you're watching text on your projector, the white text, you'll see a little bit of a red haze or a, a blue haze or a green haze around the letters, and that's no good. That means your, your, your panels are off alignment, so you gotta re readjust them. So there's a feature in the projector in the menu that uh, when you use the remote control, you're able to re readjust those panels and, and realign them so they're perfectly in, in front of each other so you get that crisp, discrete quality all across your screen. Uh, and there's a couple of options where you can adjust the entire grid at once, or you can adjust each individual grids uh, of boxes throughout the entire screen. So I'm gonna walk through a couple for you and kind of show you what I do to realign them. And you only have to do it once, really. You do this one time and you're set. So I wouldn't mess, I wouldn't mess around with it too much, but if you wanna dial it in just right, you'll be able to. Um, so welcome to the channel if you're new. I'm Raf. I do inspiration home theater videos for you guys to give you ideas on your own home theater and also uh, video game content, unboxings, and trailer reactions, which are a lot of fun. So uh, welcome, subscribe if you're new, appreciate it. Uh, comment below if you know what I'm talking about, if you've done this before, if it helped you out, or if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I've had the projector on for probably 30 minutes just to let it warm up so that way it, uh, it's uh, all, all ready to go. So uh, let's uh, check it out and uh, kind of walk you through the remote control and uh, see what it all looks like. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So here we are. Got the projector on. We got the screen up. Got the remote control in hand. So now I'm going to walk you through how to get to the panel alignment and kind of what to look for and kind of the gist of uh, what to do. I got my glasses on because I want to make sure I see the perfect detail, make sure I'm getting that perfect white line across the whole grid. All right. So remote control in hand, you want to press the menu button, bring up your menu right here, and you want to go down to this little uh, tool right here, this wrench, you go over to where it says panel alignment, where it says adjust, you want to click that on, you want to press the right arrow to adjust, and now it gives you some uh, panel alignment options. The first one's going to be shift, you can do shift or zone. When you do shift, it's going to do the entire grid all at once. When you do the zone, that's when you can pick individual zones. So we'll get into that. Uh, adjust the color. You have an option of red or blue. And then the pattern is, you know, I'm not 100% not on what that is, but you'll see the color change depending on what you're moving. So we'll get into that in a sec. All right. Let's go into adjustment of the entire grid first. Alexa, turn off basement. Okay. All right, so we press adjust now, and that brings up our white grid here. And what you wanna look for is you wanna make sure that this is all nice and white. All these lines are nice and white. If you see any kind of blue or red line, you wanna adjust that. So what I'm seeing right now on my, on my screen, so it looks pretty good in the middle, nice and white and crisp, but over on the left here, I see a little bit of a red line to the left of the, the white here. So if I press right on the controller, it moves the whole red, red panel over a bit. Now, as I'm moving, 
you can see this number down here is going negative three, negative two. But what I notice now is the middle, the middle line, I see a red on the right. So we don't want that. We want to move it back to the left and move that red panel over to the left a little bit to now clean up the middle. All right, now, okay, now it's nice and white in the middle. I got rid of that red bleed. Okay, so now that I have the middle all set, that's good, right? There's no blue, there's no red bleeding, it's nice and white. But I notice on the side, I want to go to the, uh, to the I think, I believe it's a zone, right? So let's press, uh, let's go back to the main menu. We want to change this to zone. Okay, now when I go to adjust, I'm going to be able to adjust every individual zone on the, on the screen. Now ideally you don't want to go all the way to the, the corners because then I could throw off something else. So what I would recommend is you start in the center and do a spiral. And you go out the more larger and larger around until you get to that edge and then start adjusting that. So I'm looking in the middle. I'm going up. That looks really nice. Pretty clean. All right. So now right here, I see a little bit of red on the, on the right side of the line. So what I'm going to do is adjust that. I'm going to press, I'm going to press select. Now it's going to lock in this grid. And I want to move that red over to the left a little bit. All right, so I move it to the left. Now I cleaned up that, that line. Now it's white. But now look over here to the left. Now that pushed that red line out a little bit. So now I'm going to go back to that little square. And I'm going to go in a spiral again. Okay. Okay, now I'm back to that one, that one area where the red line is out. I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to move that red line, that red panel, into the right a little bit. Now I cleaned it up. Move it over to the right a little bit. Now I cleaned it up. Up. Move it to the right a little bit, cleaned it up. Now I'm going across. Looking good. Remember that spiral. Okay, all right, so now it starts right down in the corner where that red line is to the left. Click it, highlight it, move it to the right a little bit, clean that up. Now I go up the panel, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Okay, now the very top line is a, little, is a little off, so I'm going to go back to that. I want to make sure the whole entire screen is looking good. This side is looking nice and clean. Okay, now I'm going back up to that trouble spot. All right, let's highlight that area, move it to the, the right a little bit. Go up a little bit. This area, move that to the right a little bit, clean it up. Move it to the right, click. Move it to the right, click. Move it to the right, click, move it to the right. Very nice. Yep, making sure that's all nice and neat, looking good. Top row is nice. I'm going to go back to that one area. So I'm going to do that spiral. So one, one little area right here. I want to clean that up. All right, looking good. So now that I went through that whole grid, all the images are nice and crisp. All the letters, all the white lettering are nice and crisp. The menu, nice and crisp. No bleeding at all. HDMI looking good. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to bring the camera close. I'm going to bring this camera in. I'm going to show you real close what I'm doing to those grids, okay? That way you can kind of see what I was doing as far as cleaning it up. So basically, I would recommend just leaving it like this, guys. Adjust the red color. Well, I leave, I leave, the, pa leave the pattern cutter, uh, color on RGB. Just leave it like that. Just adjust the red or the blue panel. So basically when you're looking at that white grid, if you see red, make sure it's red. If you see a little bit of blue, then go to the blue, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring that camera up close and let's do this again. All right guys, so I'm gonna bring you up nice and close. So we go to the menu, go to that, that gear, and go down to panel alignment, press the right, And adjust. All right, so we'll say, for example, I want to adjust this grid right here, okay? So when I press select, it's going to lock in this grid. So what I want to do is I want to clean up this red line right here. See that's a little red line on the left of the white? I want to move the controller here to the right. And see what it did? Was it it cleared up the left, but then it moved it over to the right a little bit. So that's as good as I can get it. If I move to the left, it moves it on the left side. If I move it to the right, it goes to the right side. So I'm going to leave it there because I think that, that looks overall the best. But that's what you're doing, guys. Now, if I move it all the way over, watch this. See, that's really bad, right? We don't want that red line there. That's gross. All right, let's move it back to the right. I'm using a controller. I'm just pressing the... The right arrow, moving that panel, boom, right there, perfect. All right, guys, so that's kind of a close-up of what I'm doing when I move that, uh, that cursor over. All right, guys, that's it. That is uh, kind of the gist of uh, panel alignment. I'm sure there's more in-depth, you know, calibrations and stuff you can do, but that's just a kind of a quick overview of what, what it looks like and what you can do and uh, what you can look for. Uh, when you're doing it for your for yourself. All right, guys, and there's also a reset button there if you wanted to start over from scratch, if you messed it up or whatever, just go reset. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know if you can do this or if you did this or if uh, you need any questions answered, let me know. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Remember, home theater rules.